Yes, I hope I am audible in the online. Anyone can unmute yourself. Right. So, good morning. Everyone is aspiring to become a civil servant, right? Yes, great. And uh, I hope you know each of one of you have completed the degree, right? All are attending, whosoever is attending online and offline both, uh, completed your degree, right? Yes. Welcome to the session. So the session's name is Realize the Dream of IAS and KAS with Team Credence, right? So it's very, you know, I'm very happy to invite you for this session. And uh, I hope that, okay, we will make sure that till we complete this session, you will be having a complete understanding of what is IAS and what is KAS how to crack this examination and how to prepare for this examination and also what need to be done what not need to be done okay so both of these things we'll be addressing okay before i start the session we have another two resource persons madam raksha madam and prabhu sir okay so so raksha madam and prabhu sir both are uh, you know having an you know, associating with me with this session so let's start the session so before i introduce this session so let's introduce myself I am Anil Kumar, okay, I have completed M.Tech in VLSI and Embedded and also parallelly M.A. in Public Administration, okay. So I have been an aspirant for civil servant since from 2009 and after that, you know, I was there in Delhi for four and a half years, okay. So when I was there in Delhi, I had an opportunity to work with few organizations. So one of the organization was Vision IAS, okay. So Synergy and Vision IAS both. Okay, initially I started my career with Synergy with Mohanty sir. Later on I joined Vision IS and after that, you know, I don't not I won't don't want to, to stay more in Delhi. So I have had a thought of coming back to Bangalore. So I came back to Bangalore. I started this organization with the team. Okay. So from there the journey has been so wonderful that it's a great experience and uh, I also felt that okay so when i did not clear the examination there are a lot of the people who don't clear the examination but when they don't clear the examination what is plan b most of the people will be having don't be have not be having the what is plan b right so in that direction i had a thought of you know let's create more number of ias officers from karnataka okay so having that vision we started this organization Initially, we started for, you know, as soon as we entered the Bangalore, so we started for state civil services, okay, and we bought the Vision IAS, okay. What are the difficulties when, what, what are the difficulties, you know, we were facing during our preparation? So, I had pondered on it, okay, I just had a deep thought, okay, what are the difficulties which I was facing? The one of the most difficulty is that we were sitting in a big crowd and we were whether we are following the right direction or not we don't know the classes were running and we were writing the notes we are reading it and we don't have the one-on-one -on -one mentorship neither we can have you know we did not have the access to people uh, faculties okay because the faculties were having a number of classes after the, even after completing two and a half hour session and other classes they were having they did not have a time to chat with us so there i felt that yes you know what is required is you know one on one mentoring so i having that thought so we started this organization and then we gave more focus to one on one mentoring okay parallel to the classes so whosoever is coming to the classes you know we are also for giving them one on one mentoring okay and one on one mentoring is very very important as you know madam will be telling the importance of those things okay <coughs> so credence was established in 2015 and uh, operating from this Vijayanagar, Bangalore, okay. So earlier the institute was there in the Vijayanagar and then we shifted to Chandra layout. And we, what we believe, we offer a state of art te teaching techniques and a good learning ecosystem. Ecosystem is important. So for that, we try to create a group among yourself and also our team will always motivate you people for the preparation. And our team will also help you to get the success in this examination okay regularly not you know like one time or two time but however it should come from within that is it should come from 
the aspirant the aspirant should always approach to the faculties run behind the faculties so what what to do what not to do whether i am doing the right direction or not so you should always run behind the faculties to get the success in the very first attempt okay so we believed that so we started that and also we also believe that the quality of teachers will decide the success of the students so we have a good quality of teachers i will also introduce them each one of them the best success rate because you know in particularly you know we have experienced okay in the state civil services and also in karnataka if you take okay so with respect to state civil services every one third of the students every three you know out of three students one student will be from credence ias and also for upsc within the karnataka if you take so every one third of the students will be from credence ias okay so that is what we are having the result okay so that results gave us a motivation to work in this field for more and contribute to the more number of students and you know bring more number of aspirants who, who can clear the ias and ips examination at the central level from karnataka okay so having that target we started it and we have a great achievement in that so we are happy for it so then <coughs> so yes you know this is the most preferred destination and success will be at your doorstep this is the recent picture with our toppers which we have felicitated the toppers okay in the uh, you know recently and our achievement is like <coughs> since from last seven years we are having a consistent result okay so whatever the results were there we are consistent you as you know that you might have saw the videos of the videos on the youtube and many other platforms saying that what to what is required to clear this examination that is consistency yes so in that perspective we also our team also has a consistency in getting a good results okay <coughs> so total number of selections till now will 226 including ias and kas <coughs> our faculties i myself anil kumar and ankit jaiswal who is an ma in llb chandrashekar recently chandrashekar sir has got selected for tahsildar okay so then maharsha jm who is having completed be and ma in psir prabhu goda sir has completed ba and msir uh, sorry ma in uh, psir and sidlingesh he is he will be taking a geography and raksha madam who will, who has completed mtech science and technology and ecology so i will be handling the polity and governance and ethics okay the uh, you know the advocate you uh, know ankit jaiswal will also be handling the geography and public administration and then <coughs> chandrashekar who was handling the ethics okay and then maharsha sir you know economy ecology and science and tech is his favorite <coughs> areas okay and uh, prabhu sir will be uh, a veteran in history okay who has a great experience in history and he is well known person in history okay so world history ancient history medieval history and modern history he has a great experience in teaching as well as you know has a good feedback from the students sidlingesh who will be handling a geography okay and then raksha madam who is having a great experience with ecology and environment as well as science and technology okay so we all are were an aspirant okay one of the best part of our team is we were all an aspirant earlier so we started this organization and we have started this working and helping the students to achieve their dream okay why why i'm saying this this is the one of the most unique part of our team because to understand the demand of the examination okay we must first have the experience of it there are lot many professors in the colleges and other other you know universities who are having lot of knowledge with respect to the economy subject related economy geography history but however they may not be having the experience with respect to the demand of the upsc <coughs> so in that direction so having an experience is very important to teach or mentor in this field okay so our team has that experience uh, for, you know unfortunately we had both experience you know upsc as well as kpsc that is ias as well as state civil services okay so we have we all have written the upsc examination and qualified for multiple stages okay at the end again you know when we you know did not qualify to the final list we, we all joined together and we started this organization okay so this is our team introduction 
and we also have certain officers who will be mentoring you in the interview okay as well as to motivate you we will be calling some of the officers who are associated with our team Shuprakash Baddi sir who is an additional commissioner and uh, Manoj who is a senior DOM in railways and deputy commissioner in commercial tax we are Ramesh sir and Veeresh who is a regional commissioner okay so and then Harsha Vardhan who is and again in railways IRAS Indian, Indian Railway Account Service Pramod Patil who is an assistant commissioner in Karnataka State Civil Services and Rajni Kant, who is an assistant commissioner in Karnataka State Civil Services, Viresh Kamath, sorry, sorry, Viresh Shetty, who is also an assistant commissioner in Karnataka State Civil Services. Okay, and our friend, you know, Chetan Gowda, who is also a district treasury officer in Karnataka State Civil Services. So we have both people, people from UPSC and people from KPSC who have succeeded who are, are a part of our team who will always be coming for you to motivate you to guide you and also they will be telling us to mold the you know syllabus okay and planning the syllabus as well as how to proceed with the classes okay so they are also updated with this and they are continuously associated with us they'll be helping you in the different stages if you face any difficulties you can also have an access to these people Yes, now coming to our basic foundation course, okay, this was our brief introduction about the Credence IAS. So, yes, you know what Credence IAS will be doing with respect to IAS and KAS. So, how the course we have designed, how we have designed our course and what, how impactful it is and how, you know, you know, streamlined it is to get a success in the very first attempt. I will be dealing with details of that, okay. So, why? UPSC and how UPSC and how to crack this examination in this attempt will be answering all those questions in this session. The foundation course here, basically the foundation course here, we concentrate more on conceptual clarity, content and current affairs. You might have seen the videos of over the YouTube. YouTube will not be videos. Okay, I hope you know in online also both are you know okay with Canada and English. Yes. If anybody don't know English, no, sorry, Canada, please ping us or you can raise a voice. Okay. So whenever I feel like I can, because I belong to Karnataka and I, whenever I feel, I will be using few of the words in Canada also. Okay. <coughs> right. Foundation course, we basically made focus for foundation course is conceptual clarity. You might have seen in the UPSC examination as well as in the KPSC examination, the important aspect of the prelims is conceptual clarity. I always tell to my students that to clear the prelims examination, C square formula is very important. And what is the C square formula? To clear the prelims examination, conceptual clarity as well as confidence. If you have these two things, definitely you can clear the prelims examination. Okay. To have that conceptual clarity, so what needs to be done? So we will be dealing in our course. We'll give you each and every subject faculties. We'll try to make you have, you know, try, we'll try to make you understand each and every concept in an easy and a lucid manner okay so that is our main you know focus here and after that you know we will be completing the comprehensive syllabus okay we will be having a regular test okay so i have told you you know when when a few people so i have, might have interacted with you when you visited this organization i told you that okay monday to saturday we will be having a classes and every sunday you will be having a test okay but writing this test is very important because where do you stand in the competition will be assessed by writing that test right to know yourself whether i am preparing in the right direction whether i am completing the whole syllabus or not it is not the duty of the only institution that it has to complete the syllabus because you are going to get a success we will facilitate you to get a success we are just a facilitators so to have a clean follow up on the whether I have reached the targets or not whether I have completed the syllabus or not so that, hand, that can be done by writing the test okay when you write the test you will get to know whether I have completed the syllabus whether I have understood the, understood the concept or not okay so the regular test is very important so we conduct the test every Sunday if you have missed any of the test you can come and ask the you know our team to give that test 
okay so any of the test if you have missed sometimes you know sundays some people might be engaged in some other functions or some other way but however whatever may be the situation you should come in the next day and voluntarily you should ask the question paper and write the test you should not miss the test at any cost okay that is compulsory and then we will be you know covering from basic to advanced okay first we'll start with the basics and then we'll try to link with the current affairs how to link the subjects with current affairs each faculty will be teaching in that manner and they will also be you know having complete material in that material we'll also be having a updated you know current affairs you know, you know content to it okay and current affairs class will be focusing after the you know at the end of the course we will be having a one year current affairs so generally we will be conducting that classes in the february to april okay so february to april between that period of time we will be taking the current affairs classes exclusively current affairs classes okay the other you know current affairs uh, related linkings will be done by each faculties let's say i am taking the polity so what are the subjects you know what are the let's say you know there is a question there is a uh, news on article 21 or article 19 article 14 then at that point i will be discussing when i am discussing article 14 article 19 article 21 i'll be discussing the recent issues also okay so there the subject related current affairs will be covered and also exclusive current affairs will be covered at the end of the session okay and then the classes will be conducted by our team who are expertise in their field so the unique features of this program as i have mentioned earlier also that the unique feature is first one the concept and then content so to clear the concept is required to clear the examination and content is required to write the answers <coughs> mains answer writing will come by when you have the content with you when you don't have the content with you then you will not be having you will not be able to write the mains answer when you want to write any any one page or half page on any of the topic you should have the content with you right when you have the content then only you can write the answers so how to connect these two things concept and content to current affairs okay so this will also be done in our course okay so the main focus will be again on these things okay and then systematic approach to completion of the syllabus via class plan every month you know we'll be having one subject generally so we will be covering that subject after that you know another subject will be started so we'll be telling you before and next subject what will be the next classes okay we'll be giving the class plan based on that class plan we'll be covering the syllabus right <coughs> focus on application of knowledge yes you know upsc and kpsc examinations earlier in 1980s and 1990s it was completely different it was more of static and it, there was no dynamic part there was dynamic but however it was less because there was no media there was no print media there was no you know, lot of you know there was no 24 by 7 news now there is a lot of news and we also get many updated you know uh, policies or innovative policies from other states who have done very good you know uh, framed a good policies and they are also you know uh, we are also getting that okay we are uh, the other states are also implementing that policies okay so interconnection between the states and interconnection between the at the global level helped us to gain more knowledge with respect to current affairs right so so how to apply that content static content into a dynamic part okay so that can all that will also be done our goal is to teach interrelationship between the themes and develop the students ability to con connect the dots okay so that will also be done here mentoring 360 degree as i have already told you that mentoring is one of the biggest you know positive aspect of our institution so that each and every students will be given a due intent you know attention okay so based on that we will be providing the mentoring okay so group discussion we encourage more number of group so we try to you know help the students whosoever is a like-minded people will ask them voluntarily to make a group okay so if they are interested they will make a group some people are you know happy with the solitude they will prepare by themselves okay they want to stay away from everyone and they want to prepare we don't you know force them to have a group and we voluntarily encourage the people to have a group group discussion is always helpful why because it helps us to clear the 
doubts if we have misunderstood some subjects within the class sometimes it happens because as per psychology my, my optional was public administration and psychology okay when i was preparing so generally there is a you know uh, uh, saying that psychologically that 45 minutes we can concentrate more than that after that you know our mind will automatically take a rest physically you will be here but mentally you will be outside the class that happens with everyone okay so sometimes if you miss any of the subject if you have misunderstood any of the subjects then group discussion will help you not only that group discussion will help you to you know have a you know combined notes the notes prepared by let's say i, I am preparing a you know, notes on one topic and the other person is preparing a notes on another topic then you know making notes will be easy and time reducing okay time consuming will not be there because half of the work will be done by our partner and half of the work will be done by yourself so based on that you will complete the notes you will completely you will have the complete notes okay it improves the confidence because when you are you know have a group discussion you will be speaking okay and that helps you to that helps you you know uh, helps you to improve your public speaking capacity and that is important because when you are giving interview at that point of time there is a panel you cannot panic in front of them right so you should before that only the personality has to be developed i always say that okay prelims mains and interview all three are integrated preparation there cannot be a bifurcated preparation for these things okay so <clears throat> it enables the social behavior and learning how oh, obviously you will be watching how your body language is when you are speaking with your front you know front of your friend how you are you know how, what are the cho choices of words you are using the choice of word is also important there are certain wire words if we use them that will be effective okay so choice of words and the personality and the hand movement body language everything will be you know watched by yourself okay it enhances the interpersonal communication skills critical thinking and problem solving this is a major part of your csat okay if you read the syllabus of the csat and the csat has clearly mentioned that okay <laughs> communication skills critical thinking and problem solving and also interview okay in interview the syllabus you can see it syllabus in syllabus only they have mentioned it what we will be seeing in an aspirant what kind of personality we want okay so in that they have clearly mentioned it okay so this will help you the group discussion or group making will help you always <laughs> so how to crack this examination is the very first attempt i told you that okay every time you should watch yourself okay right. how to watch myself by writing a test by assessing myself how do you assess yourself if i read this book completely let's say there is a lakshmikant book which i have completed in 15 20 days or one month whether you are completed in whatever in in, in sync with the demand of the upsc or not whether your completion is you know has an uh, uh, you know, ability to answer the questions in the upsc or not or kpsc or not that should be assessed otherwise completion of simple books will not suffice for this examination you might have you know there are so many people who says that okay sir i have read ncert book lakshmikanth everything i have covered sir but however i am unable to clear the examination why because they have not assessed themselves before going to the examination assessment there are lot there are lot there are lot many ways to assess yourself okay so it is not only one type of assessment that okay you have right you have written the test and then after the test you just see that your marks are x y and z or you know 30 40 50% 50%, 50%, and based on that you will say that okay i will improve in the next attempt no not that assessment is each and every question why, why did i make wrong okay that has to be assessed okay so that is what we have regular 360 degree mentorship regular assessment and then test series will be conducted based on that okay we will be giving you the you know we will be handling the some quality improvement sessions and then we will be sharing some certain topper strategies again so this is a circular path every time we will be following this but however it should you should show the interest in this without without your interest without your work without your hard work okay nothing can be achieved by any institutions okay so it is your involvement and our involvement both together this involvement will make will reach to the goal okay to realize the dream we you know have to have a you know work from both ends okay